Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. The video today for modern dating. Single man says this, and he, she couldn't believe it. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Ask you that. Chow. It's Chow Time. Honestly, your sewing machine is actually embarrassing. All right, cool. <laughs> but next. <laughs> oh. I know. Uh, come on, man. I am the second choice like three times in it, so. That is. Did you hear what you just said? What? He said. Say that again. What did he say? Go on, what? What? Jess, what did he say? Go on, say it. Go on. I said you'll always be the second choice like three times. Yes. It's his first choice now, no problem. Yes, she's. I think you care in general, eh? You wish. <laughs> Everybody's just laughing their asses off because they know it's true. It's six and a half. People give it and people take it, so it is what it's it is. Crime. You give it, you gotta be able to take it. Sometimes people say things that aren't very really nice. Well, it appears that some people can dish it out, but can't really take it in return. And he was basically saying that she wasn't really the priority. Now, we might just be learning something new in this next one. Hey, girl, want to take a ride in my BMW? Hey, what, you don't like BMWs or something? It's BMW, not BMW. Bayerische Motorenwerke. Wait, what? Bayerische Motorenwerke. Learn it. Bayerische Mot what? Is that what BMW stands for? I did not know. <laughs> and what I wanted to say was the reason why I go to Walmart and look for girls, because I know I'm going to get rejected. So why am I paying $30 to go to the club just to get rejected <laughs> when I can just go to Walmart and get rejected for free? It costs $30 to get in the club. Walmart is free entry. <laughs> and for some reason, Walmart and Target got all the bags. Like y'all can't lie, on a Saturday night, Walmart and Target is basically like the yeah. club. But I'm not paying $30 to go to the club just to hear, no, I'm good, I got a boyfriend, <laughs> but I can just go to Walmart and hear that for free. Bro really did find a major life Solve hack the right there. Plus, they do say that it's a numbers game after all. Now, this next guy was doing us a service. So I matched with this guy on Hinge. Things are going great. He blocked her. But for you, sometimes it happens. His broke ass didn't contribute to my birthday dinner. Ooh. I invited 10 people. We were all just having a good time, you know, just ordering drinks and food. And then the bill came. The bill was $4,600. Oh. $4,600. That's $460 per person that there was 10 people. Mother of God. Dollars? Oh, hell no. What hey, the hell keys. was y'all ordering? Oh, what? Mm -hmm. But he literally pitched in $18. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, hell, Victor, I need to hear this. Tell me your part. Okay. Well, let me tell you the truth. So basically, she went to a restaurant that she can't afford, and other people were there was ordering steaks, lobster tails, all that. And I looked at the menu. I knew I wasn't going to buy all that. So I bought calamari and a Sprite for $18. And that's what I gave her, and she looked at me crazy, and I looked at her crazy right back. Because I'm the only one with sense, baby. Okay. okay, Victor, you do got a point. Order within your budget. Case closed. Okay, $4,600 is just outrageous and you shouldn't be obligated to pay for something like that. Next, we've got a mother of six struggling trying to date at 22. Six kids? It takes nine months. Times six, that's at least four years. You're 22. You're just realizing that? You're just realizing that. Right? Six kids at the age of 22. Like the six that come after five six? <laughs> like the six that if you divide by two, you get three six? That six? Y'all don't want to give your body a break? I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Big hair, big heart, big Big life, big goals, big checks. Now I'm not usually one to flex, but I earned it. So I'm going to talk my shit. <laughs> Next, we got a guy being treated like a king. You are so handsome. I love your glasses. Oh, thank you. They are so pretty. Appreciate it. What y'all on tonight? 
Now we just going with the vibe. What's up? You want to lock in with me? That's fine. What's your name? Dave. Dave. What's your name? Jay. Jamelia. I am definitely not into this scene. When he said, let us let me lock in with you, I was just like, what? And then it meant to, to get your phone number? Yeah, I'm not up with the daily lingo, guys. I'm so behind. How old you? 26. You're just so handsome. Who's said it? Who said it? Who said it? My girl. Uh, the outfit. Thank you. What's up? So? No men can change, but there is only one woman we will change for. It's fast. Had six BBLs, five jobs a tummy tuck a gastric sleeve six rounds of liposuction and are you done no he said how does it make you feel that you spend forty thousand pounds and you still look the way you do <gasps> damn bro was on a mission to destroy her and low-key i ain't gonna lie that that would have worked on me many yeah. guys do in fact prefer the natural look so she'd be just fine without the procedures next we've got some truth y'all be so worried about being with the man that got the most money but let me tell you something, being with a man that may not have the most money is not embarrassing or shameful. You know what's embarrassing and shameful? Being with the man with no integrity. Being with the man that other men don't respect. What's the dumbest financial decision you've ever made? My car. How much did it cost? $80,000. What's your car payment on that? Like, I paid it off. That was It was all the money I had. <laughs> <laughs> I empty out the bank. Yeah, depending on the car, depending how this man lives, I might not even be upset about this. Yeah. Left. What kind of car is it? Uh, M4 competition. Okay. See, I'm not upset at all. I am not upset at all. Kind of worth no, it. Out <laughs> As a man, what do you think you should pay for in a relationship? House, food. It depends what the woman. Bro, bro, she said a relationship. We're not talking about freaking marriage here. Calm down with the house. So if the woman's cooking and cleaning, then like if she's staying at home, taking care of all the stuff at the house, then you pay for everything, all the bills, everything, mm -hmm. and whatever she needs. But if she's out, she's doing her own thing, going out to bars, doing her thing with her friends, <laughs> working, like work. If she got her own job, then. Split it halfway. He explained Damn the right. relationship thing pretty perfectly. Plus, while it appears that she likes him, some will argue that it's just for the money. Now, you won't believe how many messages she sent to this guy who wasn't interested in her. There was a time when I had a crush on Duke Dennis, but now I'm so disgusted by his character. Okay, all right. I don't even see him as attractive. Like, I don't even care to keep up with him. He doesn't matter to me anymore. A year ago, she started mentioning me in the IG story every single day. And it started off as, Duke, I love you, baby. I want you chill. Hey, now it's here. <laughs> but look, it still, look, it still say accept, right? Cool. Look. What the hell is... Wow. Damn. And we're the simps? And desperate? Mm-hmm. All passed on a millionaire. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Look at her. She's just like looking at everybody else, trying to decide what she wants to do. They don't got a mind of their own, guys. They really don't. Oh, Lord. Dang. All right. How about you, sweetheart? What's your name? Mariah. Mariah, why'd you pop the balloon on his Simply because your suit kind of just doesn't fit you right. I'm not trying to be rude. For me, you're just, you just didn't come out. It looks like a tailored suit to me. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Confident. You need that confidence. Confidence is key, baby, okay? What do you think about her? I mean, um, she's decent, you know? Nice. <laughs> Would you would you date her like if you saw her outside? No. Not everybody wants me. It's fine. I accept it. It's cool. Little do they know how successful he is, which is actually good because he's not being chased for his money. He made his own little 
workout thing to be able to do the particular workout he wants to do. What's wrong with that? Doing unnecessary gym right now. But like y'all, I don't even understand if he's trying to serve. There's so many other ways to target your back. So what this man is doing is called a chest supported seal row. This is actually a great exercise. It's good for isolating the upper back, the lats, and by laying flat with your feet off the ground, you remove any cheating or momentum that you would get from your legs or your hips. It's also really good for people that have lower back problems and can't do the conventional bent over row. That's where I was kind of going about it too. In my head, I'm like, this guy have a back problem? Like, because that's where I was logically going but logic it's such a great exercise that they literally make a bench for this yeah I thought but they what's did. worst of all is that you're a certified personal trainer and you don't know this or know better than to film someone to post on social media to make fun of him and you recruit other people to join in and laugh at him too seriously you need to do better. That guy had some great form too and let him enjoy his membership in peace. I don't see that girl that actually came up to the man and complimented him and told him all these wonderful things. If more women did this, men wouldn't be so weird about it. Men are weird about it because we never get these things. So when a woman does, we're, we question their motives. If they like us, they don't like us, why they're doing it? Because we don't ever even get attention in the first place. Please subscribe them below. I really appreciate that. See you guys next time. Ciao.